Shalom, uh, praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rahah Kodash, giving double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shah, and I pray that this lesson is edifying, okay, and bringing this lesson out because I was meditating today and just thinking of, you know, the state of our people, man. And, you know, now as you grow in this truth and you realize how wicked our people are, speaking about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you understand why Yahweh Bashim al Shai has to kill two-thirds of his people, man. Okay? Because, matter of fact, you know, let's, let's get into it. Um, You know, let me bring out the first scripture. Let the scripture speak for itself, man. But our people, are at the, they're at the lowest condition that they can be in, man. The lowest state as possible. But, hey, they're still proud, man. They're still trusting in Esau. For they believe, they, they believe that Esau eat them. Okay? Esau eat them, can save them. All right, they're all into witchcraft. They're all into all these these idol gods. They're they're you know they're following after these the the you know they're following after the ways of the heathen. Okay, even though you have the men of Yahweh Shem Al Shah and the Howards and Bowways and pushing out this word throughout the four corners of the earth, you know our people are still like the scriptures say, sadis children. Our people are simple, man. Okay, hey, I'm going to start at Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1, and it reads, Woe to the rebellious children. Woe meaning destruction, but who are the re a rebelli rebellious children? Those are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? Thus said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, that, it's like it, in that covering with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Okay? And that's what our people do. They take counsel of everybody else, but Yahweh Bashim al Shah. They take counsel of these pastors. They take counsel of these the leaders of this world, okay? But they don't take counsel of the men of the Lord, all right? Yahweh Bashim al Shah has his men pushing out this word, okay? Because this is not of us, all right? These are the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. He gives us the word, okay? And to prove that, let me go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter. 18 all right verse 19 um uh verse 18 uh start at verse 18 uh slock y'all start at verse 17 and it reads and the lord said unto me they they have well spoken that which they have spoken verse 18 i will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. OK, so hey, these are the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You know, hey, the Lord is putting the words, his words in our mouths to push out this word. But going back to the verse, these people don't take counsel of us. All right. And that's why hey, the scripture says that uh, the leader of this people caused them to err. OK, because they take counsel of the people of the world, man. All right. And let me go to verse two and it reads um, going back to Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 30, verse two, that walk that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves of Pharaoh and to trust the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. OK, because these people really believe in their mind. Well, it's Yahweh Bashim al Shah that's deceiving them because the scripture says that what the deceive and the deceiver are his. All right. So it's the Lord that's putting these strong, um, the strong delusion, the strong confusion upon these people, man. All right, but it says the the, the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Meaning when these when these so called Edomites go down, all right, you're gonna go down a hey, with them, man. All right, and let me go down to verse. Let me go down to verse twelve, and it reads, "Wherefore thus said the Holy One of Israel." Because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Okay. Hey, it says because ye despise this word. 
These people despise the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Here we are in 2021, about to enter 2022 very shortly. You still have Israelites. You still have Israelites, man. All right. You still have Israelites out here saying what? That, oh, we not Israelites, we African. You still have people denying the words of Yahweh Bashimah Shah and Salakia. Let me jump up to verse 9, and it reads that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, meaning the prophets, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. And that's why these people rather go listen to these false prophets. That's why these people rather go, go in these church houses. That's why these people rather uh, listen to all these things. But yeah, how about Shemal Shah? Because what? Hey, what did they say? Prophesy not unto us right things, but speak unto us smooth things. Okay. In verse 11. A hey, with hey, a that's the point on that, all right. But hey, the point is, hey, all you people that trust in oppression, hey, that's gonna be your downfall, man. All right, and why is it gonna be your downfall? Because a hey, going to going to the next chapter, Isaiah thirty one, it reads, "Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots, because they are." Because there are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Man, these people don't seek you how about Shemal Shah in this place. Why? Because a hey, they go to their Esau, they, hey, they go to their daddy Esau for everything that they need, man. And they really believe in their mind that Esau Edom gives a you know gives a flying about them, man. You know, I you know I'm not even trying to. You know, use my Italian, man. But Esau Edom is going to show you who he really is. And that's why the scripture tells us what? To never trust thine enemy, man. Okay. And let's go to Ecclesiastes uh, chapter, chapter 12, Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter 12, verse 10. And it reads... Never trust thine enemy. Okay? It says to never. All right. Even, you know, let me keep reading Salakia. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Okay? Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. All right? And that's speaking to you, Israelites, man. Esau Edom has a track record. All right, going back how he dealt with the with Gad and Reuben. All right, but yeah, hey, what do these people these people think that Esau Edom is the end all be all, man? And that's how you know we've been in captivity too long, and we need a hey, Yahweh Yahweh to come save us and deliver us out of this place, man. Because hey, these a hey, two thirds of the nation of Israel are done for, man. Lest they repent, and we know that's very unlikely, man. And the Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Lord willing, we be saved out of the destruction, man. All right, but hey, our people are destroyed, man. And that's why, hey, when you go to um, or let me keep reading on this, and it reads, um, and I shall be unto him if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and I shall know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. Meaning that even though Esau Edom comes, even though Esau Edom does five good things for you, man, he's going to F you over at the end, man, because at the end of the day, that's what he was made to do. Be wicked. All right. But going back to um the book of Jeremiah chapter four, okay, verse 22, and it reads, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And that's our people, man. Here you, here you have in 2021, our people still deny the Bible. But, hey, guess what? Hey, the, hey, the Bible descripts <laughs> you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans down to a T, man. But here you have it. You people still deny this book. All right? And that's why two-thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be destroyed, man. Okay? They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. You know, you these niggas could tell you a one on one, you know, one on one hundred and one ways, man, to do some shit that has nothing 
you know, that, that has nothing to do with progressing themselves. All right. But as soon as you speak about a hey, following these law statutes to a hey, follow these law statutes and commandments to the best of the, uh, to the best of uh, your abilities, these niggas don't want to hear that, man. All right. And let's go to Proverbs chapter one. OK. And let's go to verse 22. And it reads, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, man? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge, man. And that's why a how about you, my shot likens unto a, 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 the two third, the two thirds of the nation of Israel unto what? Foolish, okay? A foolish man, foolish people, because they hate knowledge, man. Fools hate knowledge. Here you have it. Jake, Jake want to learn about building their credit. Jake want to learn about building their life here in Babylon, okay? But little do they know that this place is going to be destroyed. That Babylon, which is America, is declining day by day. That there are famines, man. Not only that there are famines, but there are rumors of war, man. Okay, they, they don't tell you that in, in the news that World War, World War Three is approaching. OK, but here you have it. Our people rather want to watch sports. Our people rather go on YouTube, which the truth is being pushed up and watch folly, man. OK, and I'm not saying that I don't go on, on, on YouTube, you know, to watch other things, man. But there are things that we are that that are way more important. And that's why it says how long you simple ones will you love simplicity, man. Our people are simple. And that's why you how about you outside has to destroy you simple niggas, man. You niggas still calling yourself black. You niggas still think you're, you niggas still think you African American, man. That's why the Lord say he's going to destroy you niggas, man. Rightfully deserve, okay? And, you know, let's go to um, uh, Second Peter, man, because here you have it. You know, here you have it in the times that we are in where prophecy is manifesting himself. All right. You know, you have people still talking about, man, that ain't going to happen. You, they, they've been hey, they've been saying that they've been saying that uh, who the world, you know, who the world England calls or who who the world calls Jesus is is, is going to come. My grandma been saying that. Right. And this is Second Peter's chapter three, verse three. Knowing this, that there shall that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, man. Okay, so hey man, this is all biblical this is all biblical prophecy. If you did not know, you think that you are a scoffer on your own accord? No, the Heavenly Father gave you up to that reprobate spirit, man. Okay? And verse four says, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? <laughs> hey, you just had one body, that group saying that waiting on your how about your mouth shot is a waste of time. Okay? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Okay. And let's also get um Second Peter chapter two. Let's get also Second Peter chapter two. And um Second Peter chapter two, verse twelve, and it reads, But these as natural brute beasts. Made to be taken and destroyed. She's speaking about you Israelites, man. You natural brute beasts. Speak evil of things that they understand not. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption. And that's the thing with you Israelites, man. You speak out of things that you don't know. Okay? Because they, they, the, they, the Holy Spirit ain't dealing with you, man. All right? And hey, throughout the scriptures, it tells you that hey, these two-thirds understand not. But it says that. But shall... Utterly perish in their own corruption, man. All right, yeah. How about Shemal Shah has given you Israelites to your own devices, man? And we'll see what's gonna stand. All right, we're gonna see what's gonna stand. And hey, the elder from uh, Elder Manat um, Zalba from South Carolina made a lesson going in, going into this as well. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stick to your how about Shemal Shah, and you stick to whatever you believe in, man. And we'll see what's stand in the end. Because we tired of going back and forth with you people, man. We tired of making people believe. And that's why, hey, the Lord is going to what? The Lord is going to cleave the tongue. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture. I think it's in the book of... Um, 
Yup, this is this is Ezekiel chapter three verse twenty six, and it reads, "And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house." Speaking about you, Israelites, man. All right, in verse twenty seven it reads, "But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and I shall say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house, and that's what we doing now, man. He that have a, he that have an ear, let him hear, man. But for you people that are scoffing, for you people that are coming with your own opinions, man, we ain't dealing with you, man. And when the Lord shuts up our mouth, that's gonna be the end to you people, man." All right, judgment is coming to you, hey, to those that know that they were Israelites, man. Judgment is coming to the house of Israel, man. All right, whether you people believe it or not. All right, and this is Ezekiel chapter seven verse twenty-five. Destruction coming. That so I can, I'm gonna read it again. Ezekiel seven verse twenty-five. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none, man. Speaking of the times of Jacob's trouble. All right. You people think that, you think that, hey, how about you outside is a joke, man. And the Lord is going to make his presence known in this prideful city, in this prideful place, Babylon, man. You got, you got, you got Israelites thinking that they free or the Esau Edom is a friend to them, man. All right. And, man, that's just, you know, what I want to bring out through the spirit, man, because our people are in a reprobate spirit, man, unbelieving spirit. It says that all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. All our people are unbelievers, man. But that's why, hey, the Wadi Yahabashim al he has left a remnant, man. And, Lord, will we be a part of that number? All right? But, hey, man, I pray that this lesson was edifying. And with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashem, Raha Kudash, that were honest to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that we will. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole full let's gather abroad. Till next time, Shalom, Baba Ba, Kom Yashallah, Shalom.